The seventh season of Outlander is coming, but unfortunately, we can't jump in time to find out how the new storylines will play out. In season six, which hit the screens in March, the Frasers are trying to build a life in North Carolina, but they never manage to attain the peace they hunger for, and the fact that the Revolutionary War is on the horizon doesn't help either. Join us as we look at potential release dates, the plot, the cast, and everything else you need to know about Outlander Season 7. First, a roundup of the story as it stands. Claire is in clear and present danger at the end of the sixth season of Outlander. Jamie, Roger, Ian, Marcelie, and Bree are spread around the land. That's where we'll be kicking off Season 7. The drought between Seasons 5 and 6 was huge due to the pandemic, but if all goes according to plan, we won't have to wait that long for Season in seven. In April, a pic appeared on the official Outlander social media accounts that show Richard Rankin, Sophie Skelton, and of course, Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen on set in Scotland. This marked the start of the production of season seven. During interviews, Meryl Davis, the Outlander boss, also confirmed that shooting for season seven commenced in May. The release date seems to remain a well-kept secret, at least for now, but Davis did note that everything was happening on a typical shooting schedule, and the Outlander boss also pointed out that this season is going to be supersized. This is not a complete surprise though, because fans were made aware earlier in the year that season 7 will be twice as long as season 6 was, a total of 16 episodes. During an interview dealing with season 6, Balfe said the shooting time for season 7 would be 13 months. If you do the math, this will take us up to at least the second half of 2023 before the new season drops. When we know more, we'll tell you. Dead characters are also returning to the screen in Season 7. Keep watching, we'll tell you all in a moment. Then, the Season 7 cast. Diana Gobbledone's books 6 and 7, A Breath of Snow and Ashes, and An Echo in the Bone will be the subject matter for the next Outlander series. All the main characters feature in those two books, so Jamie Fraser, Claire Fraser, Roger McKenzie, and Brianna McKenzie will definitely be back in the upcoming season. Also, expect fan favorites like young Ian, Marcelie, Fergus, Lizzie, and Lord John to be back. There are a couple of cliffhangers that need to be resolved in the new season, so some of the newer cast members may be making a comeback to flesh out the storylines. Alan and Tom Christie, Wendigo Donner, Richard Brown, and Keziah and Josiah Beardsley will make an appearance too. A season 3 character will also be making a comeback, but in this case, the role has been recast. Laura Donnelly played Jenny Murray in previous seasons, but Waterloo Road and Doctor's actor Kristen Atherton will be taking over the role. The main reason for Donnelly's absence is scheduling conflicts. She's doing the nevers at at the moment, and also did the Marvel Halloween special, Werewolf by Night, and there may be more for her to do in the MCU. Galus Duncan, Dougal McKenzie, Ian Murray, Leary Fraser, and Joan Kimball have also been confirmed for season 7. Now, some of the characters were killed off in previous episodes and seasons, so what, where, and how is it that we get to see them again? Also, dead characters come to life, and and brand new faces appear in the lineup. Matthew B. Roberts, the Outlander showrunner, says one of the great joys of the epic Outlander story is that time travel allows the production to revisit favorite characters in different places and times, and this will be used to reintroduce a host of familiar faces in Season 7. There are a bunch of new additions too. Gloria Obiano will take on the role of Mercy Woodcock, Rod Hallett of The Last King Kingdom fame will play Benedict Arnold, and Rob Cameron will be played by Chris Fulton, who you may remember from Bridgerton. According to Roberts, there is a lot of excitement about introducing the new actors to the broader Outlander family, and of course, the fans. William Ransom, Jamie Fraser's secret son, is one of the most anticipated characters in the Outlander franchise, and will be played by Charles Vandervaart. Remember Lost in Space? 
and the Kraft legacy? Well, Vandervart was announced as a new cast member back in May 2022. The storyline in the book tells that William is the ninth Earl of Ellesmere. He was raised by Lord John Grey, his stepfather, David Barry, and is totally unaware of his birth truth. The Hunter siblings you've read about in the books will also be introduced. Izzy Meikle Small from Never Let Me Go will play Rachel Hunter, and Casualties Joey Phillips will take on the role of her brother, Dr. Denzel Hunter. Season 6 ended with a bunch of cliffhangers. To see how these could potentially resolve, stay with us. It's coming up shortly. Now, how these characters' storylines will take shape. When Ian and an injured, sick William Ransom arrive on their farm, the siblings' lives change instantly. Denzel is medically trained and has plans to join the Revolutionary Army as a surgeon. Rachel shows signs of a flaming spirit, even though she is essentially modest, and she immediately attracts admiration from William and young Ian. There is also a lot of hope among fans that Graham McTavish will make an Outlander appearance again. He's Sam Hewen's companion in Men in Kilts, the road trip travel series, and in Outlander seasons 1 and 2, he played Dougal McKenzie, Jamie's uncle. He briefly popped up in season 5 again, this time to play Buck, Dougal's relative. He has said on many occasions that he will always be game to do Outlander appearances. Meanwhile, what will happen with all the season 6 cliffhangers? Claire is in prison in Wilmington. She may be tried for Malva's murder. Remember, Malva was Tom Christie's daughter, and if Claire is found guilty, she may well be sentenced to hang. Claire is imprisoned in Wilmington and could be put on trial for the murder of Tom Christie's daughter, Malva, and if she is found guilty, she could be sentenced to be hanged. Jamie, in the meantime, is free from Richard Brown and his Committee of Safety. He's collected Quincy Myers and young Ian and is on the way to rescue Claire. Will this be another prison break? Season 7 also owes us the identity of Malva's real killer, and it needs to explain the significance of the reappearance of Wendigo Donner, the time traveler for the Fraser family. The Fraser family will be facing more than their fair share of danger in Season 7, too. In the Season 6 finale, there was growing discontent and unrest in the nation. This was when Claire arrived in Wilmington. The Revolutionary War will loom even closer in Season 7. In Book 7 of the Diana Gobbledone series, An Echo in the Bone, the story takes place around the signing of the Declaration of Independence. The time span for the storyline is between 1776 and 1778. If you read the books, you'll know that the war draws the Fraser family in, and Lord John and Jamie find themselves on opposite sides of the conflict. But more importantly, William Ransom, Jamie's biological son, and Jamie are also on opposite sides. In Season 6, Brianna announced that she was carrying her second child. She and Roger will have to make huge decisions about where to live and raise their family. To see the questions we're hoping Season 7 will answer, keep watching until the end of the video. Now, how many episodes will there be in Season 7? The pandemic was responsible for Season 6 being cut to only 8 episodes. The original tally was going to be 8. This made it the shortest Outlander season to date. Okay, so that was the bad news. The good news, and this is really good news, is that those four lost episodes will now be attached to season seven, which will be an epic 16 episodes long. Balf explained that they took the four episodes that couldn't be filmed because of the pandemic and pasted them onto the start of season seven. This, she says, means they will be able to let the Outlander story unfold as it always has. It allows the cast, crew, and writers to take their time and keep the quality high. We haven't seen any sign of trailers for the upcoming Season 7 yet, but this is not unusual. Normally, the Outlander trailers are released when stars play in the UK and stars in the US are ready to announce release dates, and that is unlikely before the early part of 2023. We probably won't see a trailer drop before the end of 2022 at the earliest. Then, the important questions that need answering in Season 
and 7. Will Claire's trial go ahead? The big question here is whether the production will follow the books or whether the writers will take the story in an entirely new direction. The Browns are a threat, and law and order is breaking down throughout the land. This might mean that no trial takes place. However, it could also imply that people start taking the law into their own hands, and we don't know how well this will bode for Claire. There are also questions about Brianna and Will Rogers' baby. In the book, baby Amanda has a birth defect, and her health prompts the Mackenzies to return to the 20th century. But whether the series will stay true to the books, we'll have to wait and see. And finally, where is Wendigo Donner? Fans haven't seen Wendigo Donner since season 5. In the finale, he was a part of the Lionel Brown gang, and they were responsible for Claire's kidnapping. He never assaulted her, but he didn't offer any help either. Once Wendigo had disappeared, the big reveal was that he was a time traveler too. Wendigo appears in the seventh book of Diana Gobbledon's series, and this may be a good indication that he will return in season 7 of the show. Claire picks up the humming of a popular 20th century tune at the jailhouse, and this could be him. He was also seen hanging onto an emerald. The stone is apparently connected to Flora McDonald's missing necklace. It's been a while since the excitement was so high for the release of a new season of a popular show. The pandemic delays have really whetted fans' appetites. And with that, we end this video, folks. Thanks for staying with us, and remember to hit like, follow, and subscribe. Keep your eyes peeled for our next contribution.